What do you think about YouTube uh, boxers on the zone? What's your opinion on that? Yeah, I okay. So uh, I've done some interviews with YouTubers who are uh, coming in as boxers. Well, I did an interview with Adam Saleh who did a charity boxing match. Mm -hmm. um, he was an amateur fighter actually, and of course we know um, Jake Paul Logan Paul. Jake Paul Logan yes, Paul. I. Yeah, of course. And I so I did an interview actually also with another YouTuber, Josh Peters, who snuck in the fake um, Ed Sheeran into the Logan. Oh Paul. yeah, yeah, I saw that yeah. one. <laughs> that was so I interviewed him about that prank because uh, I thought that was that was really funny, um, and it was just a cool story about how he snuck in this fake Ed Sheeran into the arena. Oh my god, that um, so that's cool. on my YouTube page if anyone wants to see it. So um, to answer you, I think it's a good thing, and I'll tell you why. I think anything that we can do to get new eyeballs and more people interested in the sport of the bot in sport of boxing is a good thing. So I've always said this and I've been consistent. I, I host a debate show called standing eight count. It's on Pluto TV. And I've said this a few times on there. If you are a YouTuber, it takes work to build an audience to get millions of subscribers to, to, and you know, this firsthand, I know this firsthand, how hard it is for people yeah. to, to get subscribers, to put out consistent content, oh, yeah. um, to build a community. And YouTubers have spent time and energy doing that. They've, and they've built their audience. So now they're taking their audience and they're bringing them into the boxing world to subscribe to the zone or watch their fight, wherever their fight may be. I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that's a good thing because they did the work to bring their audience. Right. And now you have new people who weren't interested in boxing tuning in to watch. And what that does for a promoter or a network is say, we have this new audience, let's promote our other fighters. And I think the zone did that. I think they, you know, like with a Ryan Garcia or Billy Joe Saunders or whoever mm -hmm. you put other people on, you know, Devin Haney, you put these people at the events, you put them on undercards and now their social media following, I think someone tracked it. Their social media following went up because they were just associated with this event. So I don't think there's any reason why um, putting fighters who bring their audience, I think they've earned that right. And at the same time, they're not necessarily taking away a spot from someone else. It's not like Jake Paul or Logan Paul is going to go in and fight Manny Pacquiao. And that means that we're robbed of the Manny Pacquiao Thurman rematch or whatever, just as an example, right? That's not yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Uh, they're for the most part, at least what I've seen, they're fighting each other. So they're not taking away opportunities from anyone else. So I don't really see a downside in that. So I think YouTubers and boxing is a good thing.